Today we'll be jumping back into the past as well as ahead to the future as we take a look at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift. That's right guys, I got in my Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes. I'm super hyped for this set both as a collector and a player and uh, I don't want to waste any more time so let's get into these things. Here we have it guys, we've got the first Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. This one has got the Iron Valiant on it, which in my opinion is my favorite future Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. I'm even wearing my Iron Valiant shirt today uh, to celebrate. So we're going to get right into this thing. This is a, a typical Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box that I usually go through. I've got 11 packs. They've got the regular ETB promo plus a Pokemon Center stamp promo and uh, all of the usual suspects such as the energy, damage counters, etc. So let's open this thing up. So just like any other ETB, we've got the player's guide, which includes the whole set list. I'm not going to go through it because we're going to be surprised together today. As always, I haven't really taken a look at the set. Um, I played it a little bit, I actually streamed last night with a little bit of the Gold Dango EX deck in it. It was super fun. Uh, so I'm hoping to obtain those cards today uh, to be able to build the deck in person. So we've got the sleeves, same old uh, really subpar ETB sleeves that I'm not a huge fan of, but these, these work really well for my trade binder. So they're good for that. We've got the dividers. These are super sick. Um, Big fan of Gardevoir, so the Iron Valiant is super awesome to me. I was super hyped about that Pokemon when I first saw it. We've got our Brick of Energy, and then we've got the ever-adorable Iron Bundle, another awesome future Pokemon. So here's the example. We've got this. This will be the promo that'll come in any regular Paradox Rift ETB, the Iron Valiant one anyway. Um, got the future Iron Bundle there, so super cool. And then here's the, it's the same exact promo, but with that Pokemon Center stamp, you can see right there. So that little bit of exclusivity uh, makes it worth it, in my opinion, for these boxes. All right, then just like any other ETB, we've got our damage counters, our D6, and some special condition markers. Uh, the D6 is actually really cool here. It's a little green with some pink on it. I'm a big fan. And then guys, the moment we've all been waiting for our 11 packs of Paradox Rift. We've got the Armor Rouge, Garchomp, Iron Valiant, and Roaring Moon as the pack arts. Super sick. Let's jump into these things. I'm going to start off, for whatever reason, just right away with this Iron Valiant. This set is super hype, and I know I say that about every single set. I know, I'm just hyped about Pokemon in general. But this one is particularly good for players. There's a lot of groundbreaking cards here. Sorry, I noticed I was starting to go a little fast there. These are brand new cards. We got to take a look. Got Mela, Minyor, Dondozo looking fierce as ever. That's a big, big fish. Love to see it. Porygon, look at that art. That's so cute. I love it. I don't know what it is about it. Just sitting there playing with his block toys. <laughs> That's awesome. We got the Joltik right away. Look at that illustration rare. That is absolutely beautiful. That is such a good art. I am very unfamiliar with the illustration rares of this set uh, for a reason. I want to be as surprised as I am with this one. That is so cool. And we've got a Golisopod. I'm a big fan of Golisopod. I think it's a really interesting uh, bug Pokemon. And uh, I think the arts of, from what I've seen of the Golisopod in this set are super sick. So an awesome start to this set so far. We already got a hit, so we're moving right along. That is awesome. We got the Armor Rouge pack. A uh, couple cards that I'm looking for out of the set. The I have seen the uh, special illustration rare of the Iron Valiant, and it is super sick. Um, then we've got Iron Hands and Goldango that are playable cards, but let's take a second to appreciate these arts. We got Blitzel. That is a that is a beautiful, beautiful art. I really like that. Got good old Bound Suite. Looks like inside of the school, Feebas. 
That's an interesting one. Veluza. This is the most annoying Pokemon in the game. If you know, you know. This thing is so obnoxious. Oh my goodness. Got the technical machine blindside. That's right, guys. The TMs are back for the TCG. These are also going to be super awesome to play. Uh, if you haven't yet, follow me over on twitch.tv slash pokedubstcg. Uh, I'll be testing out a lot of these new Paradox Rift cards uh, in the upcoming future, I guess. Um, this one's not really that great. I will focus on a better TM once we get to them. We've got Crocolore. Just happy as can be. Professor Sada's Vitality. Look at how beautiful these cards are. That's a, a reverse foil. It's very cool. This is, So this is one of the new uh, mechanics, if you will. They've got the Ancient and the Future. You'll see up here on the card. This one is choose up to two of your Ancient Pokemon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. If you attach an energy in this way, draw three cards. So that's pretty good. Um, you got to keep in mind it only works for the ancient Pokemon, but still a very interesting trainer. Nonetheless, we've got Tinka Tink and we got the Hoopa EX. Very cool. Terrestrialize into a fighting type. That is very interesting. Love to see that. So right off the bat, guys, two packs in. We got two hits. And you'll be happy to know that I did indeed uh, obtain some more sleeves. So we're, we're looking pretty good there. Jump right into the Garchomp pack. This set, ew, it's so hype. I've been, like I said, I know I say that about every set, but I've been looking forward to this set for a good while now. We got Onyx. Nice little throwback to Gen 1 there. We got Flittle. Nicket. Masquerain. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Let's see what this one does. This is a tool card. The Ancient Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 60 HP, recovers from all spe special conditions, and can't be affected by any special conditions, such as paralysis, uh, poison, burn, all of those things. So definitely very interesting uh, for the Ancient Pokemon there. I totally just pulled two cards. We got Cyclozar chilling right there. That's pretty cool. Vanillish in the fridge. Love to see it. That's awesome. We got the Iron Jugulus. This, these future cards look so sick. You can see it kind of blends over with like a little future looking uh, background, I guess. This card isn't particularly crazy. It's, it's okay, but it just... Look at it. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of the future and ancient Pokemon. I think... It's a really cool concept. Uh, I like that they kept them similar to the Pokemon they're supposed to be like. And we got a Palkia. Again, not a super great card, but I am a collector of Arceus, Dialga, Palkia. So this is super cool. That's a really sick Palkia art. I've seen it pulled by other content creators, and I, I don't feel like it gets the appreciation it deserves. Whether it's a good card or not, that is a sick, sick Palkia art. And I will absolutely take it. Kind of just moving right along here. Not quite as organized with my piles as I once was. Uh, I feel like, first of all, I haven't done a pack opening in quite a while, so I apologize for that, but, you know, we're keeping things rolling here. We got Pansage, Mantike, Gabite, the Technical Machine Evolution. Now, this one is actually pretty good. Uh, the one caveat to these TMs is the Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card. So... That's good. Uh, it requires the necessary energy. So for this one, it's one colorless energy. So any energy. Uh, if this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of your turn. So you have to use it the turn that you attached it. So the attack on this one is for one colorless en energy. Evolution. Choose up to two of your benched Pokemon. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto the Pokemon to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. So... Really good in, I've seen examples of it being played in, like, Guard of War to get your Curlias out, like, turn one if you're going second, which is pretty sweet. Uh, we got Defiance Vest, Zekrom, love to see it. I'm also a collector of Zekrom, so that art is super sick. I'm going to be Googling over a bunch of the rare cards in here, so I apologize in advance. I'm, I'm going to be loving the arts. We got Lipard, 
and the Aegislash. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX and V. So definitely a little disruptive. Be interested to see what sort of shenanigans people can pull off with that. So very cool. Uh, I notice we're moving along a little slow here. We got uh, a few ETBs to open up, but that's all right, guys. Brand new set. You know I like to cook a little bit slower here. We got Nimble, Yamask. That's a pretty cool Yamask art. Spinda. Love to see it. Professor Turo's Scenario. This is a good card. Put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand. Just one of your Pokemon. Discard all attached cards, so any energy or tools that were attached to it that go into the discard pile, but put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand. Absolutely nuts. So <laughs> it's uh, that's a pretty good card. That that will definitely be seeing some play. We got Mineshaw, Rika, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that correctly, Knackly, we got Surskit. I feel like I haven't seen a Surskit card in a, a decent amount of time. And we've got the Iron Moth as the future Pokemon. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. And it does 120 damage. So, very interesting. I'm super excited about pulling that Turo. That is, it's just a crazy card. Uh, being able to pick up one of your Pokemon... One of your big damaged Pokemon on the bench or something is just insanely powerful. We got Plusle, Dotler. That's actually a really cool little Dotler art, kind of like the Laird Sky in the back. Definitely like that. Toxel. We got a Yukimori art. Love to see it. Love those clay arts. Another Lipard. Technical Machine Turbo Energize. That one's okay. We got a new art of Wug Trio. Love to see it. Technical Machine Blindside. That one's kind of meh. We've got the good old Wimpod. Gabite. And we've got Latios. Pretty cool Pokemon. This is maybe going to be seeing some play. I mean, for two Psychic and a Colorless, you're doing 180 damage. You're discarding three energy, but if you're playing it in something like Gardevoir, uh, it doesn't really care about discarding energy because you're just going to reload them from the uh, discard anyway. So... That could definitely be pretty interesting. We will see how much play it sees. We're, we're very early into this format here. So Remoraid, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Gimme Ghoul. There we go. We need four of them. We need four of these bad boys. Set that aside. Got the Slitherwing. So here's our first like non-hollow looking ancient Pokemon. You can see like the blend. That is so sick. I love what they're doing with these cards. The Devolution Technical Machine is going to be extremely disruptive. I've been testing a little bit. It's kind of insane. For one colorless energy, you devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. So if, like in Charizard, for example, they rare candy into the Charizard, you play this, you're giving them back the Charizard, and they have to find another rare candy then to evolve it. So... Also a super sick card. Exploud. Wow. That is a that is a very aggressive illustration of Exploud. I really like that. Kind of kind of interesting. We got Purloin. Super cute art. Like that one. Another Devolution. Love to see it. And we got Low Kicks. Look at that. That's actually pretty sick. Some of these arts, man. They're just so good. Love to see it. So we got. We got some playables there. I'll just go ahead and set that pile there. And uh, we've got four packs of this ETB still. Uh, this one might end up being a little longer, guys. I'm sorry, but we're taking a look at a new set. You know, we got to we gotta go through it a little bit slower. We got a Mill Tank. That's cool. Wimpod. We got Durant. I love me some Durant. That's awesome. Got the Turbo Energize. Wug Trio. A Seedra, nice. A Reverse Mill Tank. And we got Ting Lu. Look at that Ting Lu art. That is pretty sick. I have definitely not seen that one. That is really cool. A lot of these really new arts. I know that there is a like a rare Chien Pao as well. So be excited to see 
what else we end up ripping out of here uh, for arts. So we got Wimpot again. Good old Ella kid. Love to see the baby Pokemon. Trubbish. This is going in my collection pile. I love Trubbish and Garbodor. We got Tinkatuff. Iron Bundle. Look at this unit. What an absolute awesome Pokemon. I love Iron Bundle. That is so sick. We got the Techno Radar. Search your deck for up to two future Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand. So if you're playing a future-based deck, this could actually be a really sick uh, item card to play. Countercatcher is a reprinted card from older formats. Super sick. Uh, basically, if you're behind in prizes, it is an item form of boss's orders. So super good. I, I don't think I need to explain how powerful that is. So we'll put that over there. Got Snow Run in the Icy Cave. Love to see it. Semisir. Love to see these guys getting some love uh, in some new arts. And Garganackle. So super cool. We got two hits and two packs left. Uh, I don't know what I'll be valuing more if I want the uh, the hits pile to be bigger or I'm really looking to get a big old playable pile. We got Tinkatink, Wismer, nice. Dwebble, Tandem Mouse, look at, look at that art. Oh, they're so cute. That is awesome. So this is going to be both my collection and my playable pile here. Screamtail definitely has some uh, some potential for sure. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So another card that could definitely be included in Guard of War. We got the Sada's Vitality. I think that might be playable depending on what some of the ancient decks look like. Minior. We got Panseer. Gimme Ghoul. Let's go. We need that. Roaring Moon EX is going to be another insane card. Got the Frenzy Gouging for two darkness and a colorless. Knock out your opponent's active Pokemon. If your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out in this way, this Pokemon does 200 damage to itself. And then Calamity Storm for 100 plus. You may discard a stadium in play. If you do, this attack does 120 more damage. So very sick. That card has a ton of potential. That is actually one of the next decks that I want to be trying out in my streams. So yeah, like I said before, if you haven't checked it out, uh, head over to twitch.tv slash Pokedubs TCG. Um, I plan to be reusing some of those VODs for uh, some of my gameplay videos, but yeah, like I said, I'll still be focusing most of my attention here on YouTube with you guys. So we got the Toad School, Toxel, the Techno Radar again, Steeny, Counter Catcher, great card, Onyx, Crustle and she you as that rare so we're gonna jump into the next ETB here so here we go got the roaring moon I'm gonna get the plastic off of this one real quick so same deal here guys we've got the roaring moon sleeves we've got the d6 and the damage counters this one's just a little bit different with the d6 being red we've got the roaring moon uh card dividers which are super cool and we've got the Screamtail promo, which is super, super sick with the Pokemon Center one as well. And then we've got our Brick of Energy and 11 packs. So we'll jump into these, see if we can get, uh, still looking for Goldango. Gonna need four of them. Uh, I will also be, so I'm, I'm hoping to get this video out tonight. I just got these in the mail just a little bit ago. Look at this Fue Coco. Uh, it is Friday, November 3rd. And uh, the set officially releases today. So I need to go get my pre-order from Zeke's Comics and Games, which, as you might know, is the channel's sponsor. Definitely go check them out. The link's in the description. Also, we got a new code down there. Check it out. Get 15% off your order. So definitely take advantage of that. We got Iron Bundle in the Reverse Hollow. Love it. Mineshaw and Porygon Z. So that's pretty sick. But yeah, I gotta go get my pre-order stuff from Zeke's today, and I'll hope to be doing a booster box ETB video uh, a little later that I'll get out this weekend. So I'm gonna try to get this one right out the door to you guys, take it early, well, on time look at the set, I guess. We got Wiglet, Gligar, Exploud, 
such a sick art. Mela, Slitherwing. These these are so cool. Such a cool idea. We got Tulip, Charcadet, love it, and Galisopod for the rare. Um, but yeah, head over there if you haven't got any Paradox Rift yet. There's still a ton in the shop. Go check it out online. He's got uh, some bundle deals on there. And then, like I said, we got that code. Take advantage of that. We got 15% off, so that's pretty sick. We got Porygon 2. That is a really cool art. Very cool. Octillery, let's go. Yukimori arts are some of my favorites. Love to see that. Semipore, very cool. Got Zeb Strika. That's awesome. I don't think I've seen a Zeb Strika in a while. Crocolore, Gibble, Parasol Lady, and Eveltal, which is very cool. I always love to see uh, some X and Y Pokemon. Very, very cool. And we got a Garchomp pack. So nothing yet out of this ETB, but we're only three packs in. That's all right. We'll be okay. We got the adorable Porygon art. Seedra, Magby, Vanillite, Gliscar, the Future Booster Energy Capsule. That is a mouthful for sure. Semisage, Tinkatink, Panpour, and Glycopod for the rare. So, nothing crazy out of there. No crazy playables or anything. So we'll see what we got. They're saving all the hits for the back of the box, right guys? We got another Gimmigool. Let's go. Purloin. Mainfu. Mindfu. Phariseed. Steeny. Another counter catcher. That's awesome. Yo, look at that Absol art. That is super sick. Very, very cool. Love to see that. Good old Orthworm. Such a silly Pokemon. Let's go. We got Cyclozar. Very cool. Cyclozar and the homies lining up. Looks like they're about ready to race, maybe? Or they're just parked? Yeah, it looks like maybe they're parked by a sidewalk. That's cool. That's awesome. Looks like the uh, the trainers have all their stuff on the Cyclozar. They got them parked for a little while. That's a really cool art. And an Eveltal to wrap that one up. That is so sick. I love that. It looks like, so a lot of the illustration rares are, are like telling some sort of story lately, and I think that is so incredibly awesome. I I will always have a bigger appreciation for just the art of the cards. I think Pokemon art is some of the best art out there. But uh, I might be a little biased, because, you know, I like Pokemon a little bit, if you guys couldn't tell. We got Pans here. Nickit. Norman. Good old Norman. Cyclozar, chillin', ready to go hang out with the trainers, <laughs> Toad Scroll, Purloin in a reverse, we got Tinkaton, smashing down on a Corviknight maybe, that's pretty cool, that's a sweet art, and we got Porygon Z, so, we've got one illustration rare out of here so far, and a sick one at that, I, I really like that, see it's so much more fun, if I come into these videos and just don't know a whole lot about the set, uh, I try to ignore any spoilers as much as possible. So obviously I've seen some of them, but I didn't know that that Cyclozar existed at all. So very cool. We've got Ancient Booster ca Energy Capsule. Got the cards sliding around everywhere. Orthworm and Zatu. Zatu is actually super, super good. It's got the Clairvoyant Sense. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, draw two cards. So a very similar ability to uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, except this is not worth three prizes. So very sick. Got the Cursed Duster and a Milotic for the rare. We got four packs left. Either way, this has been a super fun set. You guys know me. I don't care about the value that I'm getting out of this. I would, however, like to pull some more playable uh, EXs and stuff. Like I said, we need some Goldangos. Let's get that. Speaking of that, the special illustration rare Goldango is super sick. Um, I hope I'm able to just pull it to show you guys. Another Deevolution TM, super cool. We got the Wimpod, 
Dub Blade, and more Peko in a hungry hurry for that ability to name. That's super cool. We got three packs, guys. Let's see what we got. Saving that Goldengo EX special illustration rare for the end of this box here. We got Apom, Pan Sage, Mantike, Professor Turo Scenario, Insanely Cracked, Mind Shao, Rika, the Ting Lu, Porygon 2, and Garganackle for this one. So it's looking like the Iron Valiant is uh, looking a little better, if I do say so myself. But we'll see, though. Maybe these last two packs are just going to be absolutely insane. We've got the Dwebble, Horsey, Joltik, Loudred, Mela, Minior, Dondozo, Dotler, Latios. That's very cool. And we got Goldengo EX in the full art, guys. Let's go. So obviously the special <laughs> illustration rare is super sick, but I'm a huge fan. I've said it a million times. These newest full arts look so, so good. Goldengo EX coming in at 260 HP. It's got the ever... This ability is so sick. It might not seem like a lot, but it, it's been really fun in testing. Coin bonus. Once during your turn, you may draw a card. If this Pokemon is in the active spot, however, draw one more card. And that does stack, so you can have two gold angles out, draw two cards, switch into the other one, draw two cards. And then it has the make it rain attack, which is very similar to the game, if you're familiar. It's got 50 damage times. Discard any number of basic energy cards from your hand. This attack does 50 damage for each card you discarded in this way, so... Very easy paired with Superior Energy Retrieval. Um, there's another card coming out in this set that you discard one card and go search for two energy cards. Very easy to get some big damage out of the Goldengo from my testing so far. So this is super sick. We will absolutely 150% take this as an awesome hit. I love to see it. Actually, if I can get four of the full arts... Um, might be an unpopular opinion. I would build my deck out of just the full arts, honestly. So, love to see that. I'm super hyped about it. Let's see what we get in this last pack, guys. Kicking it off with a Gabite. We got Minun, Dublade, Miltank, Gorgeist. Nice, that'll go in my uh, Ghost Pokemon collection. Professor Sada's Vitality. We got the Tatsugiri. That art is so sick. <laughs> Just the curious little guy. I love that. Joltik. We've got Gabite. And we've got a Palkia. So that box wasn't that insane. But you know what? We will take this awesome Full Art Goldengo. Right on. So that's going to do it for our initial, just our first video for Paradox Rift. Opening up the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes. Now I know what you're thinking. You guys are thinking... Doesn't he usually give one of these away? I do! So, thank you for sticking around, first of all. And we got one right here. We've got the Roaring Moon EX, or just the Roaring Moon, I guess. Uh, Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Let me know. First off, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys a bunch. And then, thirdly, go down in the comments and let me know out of the future and the ancient Pokemon, what's your favorite one? Uh, if it's got to be one from the ancient and the future, that's fine. But just let me know. What is your favorite ancient or future Pokemon to get entered into this ETB giveaway? And then in two weeks on November 17th, two Fridays from now, I will come into the comments. We will randomly select a comment like usual. I will pin a comment declaring the winner of the giveaway so come back to this video on the 17th be sure to check if you leave a comment uh to come check it out and uh we'll pick a winner on the 17th so thanks for sticking around today guys we didn't get anything super crazy but we've got much more paradox rift to open up later on so stay tuned and until the next one keep being awesome and we'll see you then peace